Okay, so hello everyone. As you have seen, today we are going to talk about 45-6 hard start problem. Now, this is another common Facebook group subject. Someone would post saying that his 45-6 has a hard start problem, especially in the morning. And to make matters worse, the common answer that they would get is that it's caused by the glow plugs, glow plugs, it plays the glow plugs, glow plugs, and glow plugs. Now, because so many of them said glow plugs, you believe them, you go out and buy a new set of glow plugs, and the problem is still there, and you just wasted money. Now, 9 out of 10, make that 9.5 out of 10, it's not the glow plugs, okay? If your engine has good compression and good fuel delivery, with or without glow plugs, your engine should start, okay? And I'll show you. Now this is the relay for my glow plugs and I'm going to disconnect the relay, okay? In fact, just to show you that there are no tricks here, I'm going to disconnect this wire as well, as well as the glow plug connecting plate. Okay, so I'm going to remove the wire as well as this connecting plate so now the glow plugs are no longer functioning now just to show you show you that there are no tricks here I have this infrared thermometer so the exhaust manifold is 29.6 degrees Celsius on this ground is 27 here it's 30 okay so there are no tricks here 29 degrees Celsius I'm going to even touch the intake manifold. I mean the exhaust manifold. This engine has not run for at least overnight and oil, okay, has not, is already completely down the oil pan, okay? Okay, so we're going to take a temperature of the valve cover, it's 31 degrees on the valve cover, on the cylinder head it's 29 degrees Celsius, okay? So I'm not going to cut this video. I'm going to start this engine, you see the glow plug connecting plate is no longer connected, so your engine should start almost immediately. Okay, so as you have seen, no glow plugs and temperature 30, 31 degrees Celsius. The engine started almost immediately. No hard start problem. All that without glow plugs. Okay? No connecting plate. The relay is still disconnected. Okay? So, like I've said, if your engine has good compression and good fuel delivery, glow plugs should not be an issue. The only time glow plugs should be an issue if you constantly, I mean, you live in an environment that is constantly very cold weather. Let's say, for example, winter or maybe just, just cold weather. In fact, what you have seen is also a good method to find out whether or not your engine still has good compression. Now, more often than not, if your 456 has a hard start problem, it is only caused by air in the fuel line and the solution to that is simple just bleed the air out through this manual pump and I'll show you how just remove this bolt this bolt has a rubber washer it's also a good idea to have a receptacle ready just so you won't make any mess and start pumping okay see now bear in mind this is a dual action pump Okay, to pump downwards, it's going to pump diesel from here to here, outwards, in this case, because we've opened the bleed screw through here. Now, the upwards motion of this pump is going to suck diesel from the fuel tank inside the fuel filter, okay? Downwards motion is going to pump out, the upwards motion is going to pump diesel and suck it inside here. So when you are pumping, it is important that you allow this pump to go up on its own. The reason why I'm going to say 
tell you that because I see a lot of people, they just do this. And that's not the proper pump way of pumping your manual fuel pump. Do it this way, okay? Like so. Until you see that it's all just diesel coming out. Okay, see? Okay. So now, put the bleed screw back on. Don't tighten it just yet. Pump like so and then give it a light snug. Pump it a more. Then tighten it down with your wrench. Then start your engine. Okay, so as you've seen, that's actually it. Now should, for example, after bleeding the air out of the air, and you still have a hard start problem, the next thing that you do is to try to loosen this bolt. This is the bolt for the return line on your fuel injection pump. Okay, just get a 17 millimeter wrench like so. Loosen that nut. You don't need to, I mean this bolt, you don't need to remove that all the way out. Then try and pump until you see this cell coming out of that. Okay, and we see this cell. Now, that's it. Now, when it comes to tightening this bolt down, don't overdo it. Otherwise, you might ruin the, the thread on here. Just make it snug like so. Okay, and then give it a couple of tops. Just like that. Then start your engine. Now that is basically the simple solution to your hard start problem. Now should you for example have to do this every day, you might want to check and replace your fuel filter. Just get yourself an oil filter wrench. Of course, you need to first remove these two and then just remove the fuel filter. Or if you want to, you can replace the fuel filter as, the, as well as the manual pump. You just need to undo these two bolts right here. And the entire assembly does not really cost much. Now, there are times that your manual pump no longer functions. And if you want to make sure that this thing, okay, this upper assembly still functions, all you need to do is just remove this hose, pump downwards, and put your finger on here, and it should suck, okay? Way to do that again. See, it's sucking. One last time. Now, if your pump no longer does that, then you have a faulty pump, then just replace this. The entire assembly is cheap. It's not going to cost more than a thousand pesos. Also, you would want to check and maybe replace your fuel hose. Now, you can either choose braided clear hose like this one or braided rubber hose like this one. It's really up to you. For me, I prefer to use braided clear hose so that when I pump this, okay, I can just see if diesel is already coming out from this return line. So I no longer need to undo this, okay? You see? The Okay, the important thing is that it's the right size of hose, that when you insert it on the barb tube like so, the hose is going to seal up itself against the barb tube. And the hose clamp's purpose is not to help and seal the hose up against the barb tube, but it's only to make sure that the hose is not gonna come off. So make sure that your hose are the right size of hose. As you can see, even on my return line, it's only a clear hose. Okay, so another thing that you need to do is to check for leaks. It is better if you first give your engine, as well as your engine bay, a good clean wash. Make sure everything is dry, then drive it around a few times. Then you can go ahead and check for leaks. Now, make sure your hands are dry. What you want to do is to check for leaks here, okay? each of those fuel injectors okay make sure that they are all dry that you don't feel any diesel on your hand as well as inside of those okay next is you also would want to 
check for leaks on the tips of the hose okay and as well as the bottom of your fuel filter make sure that there's no leaks as well as on your fuel injection pump make sure that there are no leaks here here as well on the bottom of your fuel injection pump try to feel around and of course it's difficult to get a, an angle right here see if you see my finger try to feel that there make sure that there is no leaks as well as here okay okay so make sure that they're all dry okay and remove the timing belt cover and you would also want to check for leaks there okay now should you find any leaks here first try to tighten them down if tightening them don't work try to replace the aluminum as well as the copper washers if say for example you find any leak on the fuel injection pump then you need to remove the fuel injection pump bring it to a professional diesel pump calibration center and not only will they replace the seals inside your fuel injection pump they will also calibrate it as well now it is important that you need to fix those leaks otherwise if you don't air is going to constantly get inside your fuel system and then you will constantly have that hard start problem because the most common issue when it comes to hard start problem is believe it or not just fuel delivery brought about by air in the fuel line or a dirty fuel filter so anyway i do believe that's it i hope this video can help you out i hope that you enjoyed it too like share subscribe if you want to and as always thank you for watching